Hello and welcome to the unboxing of the Cooler Master Master Watt 550 Watt power supply that is semi modular uh, and 80 plus bronze certified. I'm just going to give you the um, this is what it seems on the front so you can see that um, it's it's fanless uh, at 15% load so when 15% of the 550 watts is being used uh, it will just turn off but after that it will start to ramp up but even then it will still be quiet five year warranty on that uh, 80 plus uh, bronze certified and that's the entire actual name of it <clears throat> all of the technical things just actually I'm not going to read this all out because there's a lot of things but you can just uh, pause it and check for yourself. I only started doing this just because of the fact that um, when I was looking for this uh, power supply on the internet, I was trying to find the unboxing video and there wasn't one. So I might as well just help out other people who also are looking to buy this one. Um, here you are. There you go. So it comes up with one motherboard pin, obviously. Uh, and that's not um, that's going to be connected like a normal non-modular power supply so the CPU connectors and the motherboards are going to be connected to the middle of it just like any other non-modular but the rest of the cables will be modular so you can change um, potentially also the uh, the sleeving of it as well as less cables if you don't need it which will make it a lot tidier and easier for cable management so yeah one motherboard pin one CPU pin four plus four so you can fit four pins CPU power and also eight pins Six SATA ports, so six um, hard drives, SSDs, optical drives, whatever. Uh, peripheral uh, or modal, modal uh, what do you call them? I forgot what they call them. I've already completely forgot, whatever. Uh, Molex, that's the word, Molex. Uh, two of those, which I think is actually quite low, especially if you have a lot of fans. So if you're going to get this, make sure that you have a lot of fan ports for your motherboard because they can only handle two. And that's just for the fans. So if you have anything else, then it could be a little bit of a problem for you. Um, six, uh, well, sorry, two six pin or six plus two pin PCI Express slots, uh, cable, sorry, and one floppy uh, power connector. But I don't know why they even sell these, include them, sorry, because of the fact that I'm pretty sure nobody uses floppy disks these days. Uh, here's all the information the back, different languages as well. Just pause it. And here's the more in-depth information there. Okay, that's all right. And okay, read more on the side. I think it's just the same. There you go. If you just read all that in different languages, you can just pause it. Lots of languages. There you go. Okay, that's for the entire exterior part of the box. Now I have to find out how to actually open this. That's on this side. There you go. Okay, there we are. First of all, warranty on the side, as well as how to install it. If you'd like, if you need to know. Uh, there we go. Well, you should know because you're installing this, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yep, all of that information in many different languages. Uh, I'm not going to go all through all of them, but it's just going to be a quick speed run through. There we go. Here's the warranty, that's one of it. Of course, the power cord. Can't power power supply without power cord. Uh, this is the UK version because I live in the UK. So depending on where you live, which country, it will obviously be slightly different. But it'd just be it's practically it's almost the same thing, just a slightly different port. I'm just gonna get the um, power supply out first. Actually, no, 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 no. Let's get the power supply first. Right. As you can see, it's in pretty good packaging. Uh, and alright, there's nothing in that. Here's the actual power supply itself. Right, so uh, let me just get this out of the way. Let's just show you that. All the technical things of it. This is pretty good. It's got 45.8 amps on the 12 volt rail, which is pretty 
high considering this cost only 50 pounds yeah 50 pounds for it i played a little bit extra on delivery of course but the actual part of it is only 50 pounds so really depending on how you install it it will either be like this there we go so i'm not really <laughs> good at putting it in the right area of the camera it'll either be installed like this if you put the fan up but like i'm being an absolute idiot sorry it's going to be either like this, sorry, <coughs> like this. So you look on the case, if you want to put it, the fan pointing upwards, it would look like this on the side of the case. And if you want to put it downwards, it would look like that in the case. And it would come out like that. Okay. <coughs> just going to unzip it. Actually, I'm just going to pause that bit for now. Okay. So... As I was saying, it connects to it. You can't really uh, change these two pin, uh, these cords. You can't take them out. They're part of the actual motherboard uh, power supply, hence called semi modulate. So here's your CPU power pin. That can be either just one pin. You can use either. It doesn't really matter. You can use one of these or uh, this one. If you have only four pin, it doesn't really matter. And if you have an eight pin, then it'll be like this. And you can just like sort of clip them together a little bit. Actually, I don't think you can clip them together like this. Usually on the other ones you can clip, but it's not really a big deal. You just plug them in like normally and it'll be fine. 24 power connector. 24 pin one for the motherboard. Okay, and that's, I'm just going to show you how long they actually are. I'll tell you how... Actually, I really need a lot of space for this. Bear a second. <coughs> right, well, oops. Alright. So, get back there. So the CPU... Power connector. It is it's actually the longest than the it's longer than the other one than the twenty four pin. Uh, it's gonna be a bit difficult. It's not gonna be exact, obviously, because this is just a simple school ruler that I have. But um, it'll be approximately just the same. So thirty. I don't know why I'm doing it that way. Perfect. Thirty. Right, so there's 24 pin, 30, that, I'm not doing this right, so 30, Thirty there, and then an additional, about 25 if I strength it out, so 55 centimeters, it's slightly shorter than the other one, so 55 centimeters for the 24 pin, and now I'm actually going to show you the, uh, the additional cables that you get and they're all in a bundle like this cable type together I forgot to mention that it also obviously comes with uh, four screws for the uh, to mount it on the back of the case okay put that one closer <coughs> Might as well get the power supply in front of me. I'm just gonna put it on the side there for now, ignore these ones. Okay, I'm just gonna separate these. Come on. So many cables. A lot more than I expected, really. Okay, so I'll just get the way because it just looks a bit nice. Alright, so this has got five pins. And this will connect HT server. Hmm. Uh, just tell, I don't even know if it's which one to connect to. Five. I'm gonna have to consult the uh, manual. Oh, on the mother, on the uh, the manual, then doesn't even say which one to plug in. So I'm assuming it's gonna be either of them. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think it really matters actually, because they're in there the exact same. Um, connector but considering that it's more on the left I'm going to choose that one considering this is the um, HD to SATA so here you are you just plug it into there like normal simple come on there you go just clicks into place and pull it back to unplug it again there you go 
So I can just so this is for the um, SATA cables. So that's one, two, three, four. This should be this four, isn't it? Yeah. If there's a five, yeah. One, two, three, four on that side. Uh, I forgot to tell you the lengths of those as well. Actually, I'll do that at the end. <coughs> it's simpler and doesn't waste as much time. And uh, here is the um, eight pin, well, the two PC Express slots for the uh, graphics card if you need it. So you just plug it into there, like that. I'm not actually plug it, but you just put it into that one, the top one. And then it will just come like it comes like this, which so you can put it on the side. So if you if you have two graphics cards that have one six pin power uh, connector each, or one at the top, and then this one will be at the side. It does look a bit messy because they're in the way they made it. So on the case, it may not look that great, but for this sort of level power supply, they're really a high level, uh, high amount of wattage and amperage for the price. So I'm not really complaining about that, to be honest. So yeah, yeah. So eight pins on both of them. And you plug it into the top port, that one, that one. Okay, and the last one. Oh, okay, I get it now. So there's, yeah, there is six. The port, so, okay, so another one, you plug, you plug it into the uh, other side. I don't know why it's not focusing, but you can pretty much see that. Five pin, one SATA connector, another one, another two SATA connector. That's two in total. Uh, six in total, completing the other one. Uh, two Molex connectors, and floppy disk drive so that's it for that one I'm gonna just measure them all now see how long they are so the cable of the, uh, the one that only contains SATA ports it is oh, come on, don't wait me. 30 there another 30 60 They are almost, if I straighten them up, it would be uh, 90 centimeters for this one. 90 centimeters for the one that only has four SATA ports. And the additional one, the one with two SATA ports and two Molex plus the floppy, is... Put it the wrong way. 30 there. Sixty, ninety, <laughs> and a hundred centimeters. So this is an entire meter of this one. Uh, the one with the multiple SATA ports, Molex and floppy. It's a hundred meters. Uh, hundred meters, yeah. A <laughs> hundred centimeters, so just a meter. And, and now for the uh, Pizza Express slot ones. Pizza Express slot, sorry, for the graphics card. Thirty there. Uh, it's yeah, thirty to so it's um. Uh, 55 for the uh, for the first piece of express one and 60 in total for the uh, second one as well <coughs> and yeah that's pretty much it for the entire unboxing of this yeah which one am I doing I'm going to show the box <coughs> as I was saying but thank you for the uh, for watching the unboxing of the Cooler Master 550 watt master watt Power supply that is semi modular 80 plus uh, bronze certified. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching this unboxing, guys.